Now, I run this very special money mindset manifestation program. It's actually, it's like a course slash program. And part of the challenge that I have set for myself with this incredible community is to save, hustle, attract, build, create $8,000 by the 1st of December, 2023. I literally have like just over 30 days to do this. So I'm actually going to choose to declutter my wardrobe and look at what I can potentially sell to help achieve this challenge amongst many other manifesting techniques. So what I'm doing to make sure I do this efficiently, don't get distracted, don't get overwhelmed, but just hone in and focus. I have got my iPad. I'm setting a timer for 60 minutes. So I really have to beat the clock and I'm going to get three bags, one bag to be able to give things away to my friends, another bag to be able to sell things. And then another bag to either give to charity or for the things that have sort of fallen apart, turn into cleaning rags. All right, watch me declutter my wardrobe as quickly as efficiently as possible. I really hope you enjoy this vlog. All right, where do I start? I'm gonna go from front or back to front in a process questioning everything, everything. I am being ruthless because I'm really focusing on my particular challenge. My motivation is $8,000. Wow, I am being aggressive. I'll show you what I'm decluttering in a second. I have just decluttered three drawers and I found things that I was given as a gift that still have their tags on. Now, I feel a little bit guilty about this, but also it actually makes me realize what I pick and choose and buy for myself, I really love. And the things I was given as a gift probably weren't quite right, however, I've felt obliged to hold on to them. So now it's been a bit of time, I can successfully release them. And I don't need to feel guilty that they still have their tags on because I didn't actually pick them for myself. Now there is nothing wrong with re-gifting things when you do it appropriately and sometimes maybe discreetly. What do you think? Now these particular items I am going to list on my Depop account and I will link this in the video description box so you can have a look at what I'm releasing. All right, next up is the hanging area. Now there are a lot of things I really love here, so I highly doubt I'm actually gonna find many things, but that's okay. I've got plenty more ahead of me. The aggression continues on. I am really stripping back my wardrobe and it feels really good. I'm realizing I don't need as much. This is just liberating. I'm being so honest with myself. <clears throat> if it doesn't fit, if it's tired, if I don't like it, if I don't feel good about it, I'm gonna let it go and I'm not gonna feel bad about it. Look how much space I'm creating in my drawers. I mean, that is just like a breath of fresh air. The underwear drawer, no, just, that's just the too hard basket for my brain this morning. Mm. Now that's confronting. Pleasant surprises, I'm actually reorganizing my wardrobe and drawers at the same time. Like this does not belong here. Blessings in disguise. Beige, black, cream, and pink. And of course, black, cream, navy, and blue. Organizing stuff into bags. I also have a pile behind me, which is all of the things I'm going to sell. If I haven't mentioned it before, I'm loving that this is forcing me to reorganize my wardrobe. Everything is now being folded up and put away neatly. And I'm showing even more appreciation to the things that I already own. How much better does that look? The true identity of my capsule wardrobe style coming in strong. Oh, I could so good with that. It's almost worth going back for like round two, just to do like a, a triple check, kind of like when you're leaving a hotel room, you're checking out of the room, you just do one last quick check to make sure you've left nothing before. Kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm starting to feel a little bit nauseous. I don't feel well, 
But what is the issues? I'm seeing the stuff that I'm releasing pile up and I'm like, wow, that's a lot of stuff and that's a lot of money. But I'm gonna release the fear or the block, but I'm gonna make peace with the fact that I feel a little bit guilty about this. And in fact, as I do this, I realize how much I just like simple, clean, classic styles because the things I'm getting rid of are stuff that are quite busy or if they're not busy, they don't fit. Confronting, but isn't it funny that you, when you give yourself a really clearly defined challenge that you accept and agree to step up to with commitment and dedication, all those things that you've been sitting on, umming and ahhing about whether you should get rid of become a very clean cut, immediate decision. I have been thinking about selling this for the last couple of years, but whenever I've come to, I've like ummed and art about it. It's beautiful, I love it. It's from Scala and Theodore, it's a leather jacket, it's beautiful, but I just haven't worn it as much as I would like to and feel like I would much prefer to sell this and get some decent money for it that I can put towards my $8,000 challenge because that to me has greater value in my life. So this, is officially going. Shoot me through a DM on Instagram if you're interested in it. It's beautiful. Wow, I am loving seeing the simple things that are staying. Now on for my shoes. Oh no, let's do the dresses. All right, this is a big one, a really big one. I bought this about four, three and a half years ago, and I wanted to buy a different one, but my friend talked me out of it and stupidly I didn't follow or listen to my gut and my intuition. And now I regret it because I don't actually use or wear this one at all. Ironically, I much prefer my cheapy. That is my Marks and Spencer one that cost me $150. Whereas this one cost me, I think about $1,800. Yeah. So I'm gonna try if I can sell this on either eBay or Depop. Now I did speak to a few consignment stores about this and they actually said, because they take 50% commission, I'd be better off to try and sell it myself. So that potentially could be really helpful for me in this $8,000 challenge, because if I can get some decent money for it, it's gonna be a significant step up towards my $8,000 challenge. You know what I'm really also enjoying about this? Is seeing more space between my clothes, not seeing them like crushed, but seeing the space between my clothes is just refreshing. Gosh, there's some things I need to really look at wearing more of. Now, anything that I'm coming across that I know my friends will really love, I'm putting aside and I will give to them rather than selling it because that also makes me feel happy. And I know my friends are gonna be really happy too. It is amazing how we can go to do something but get distracted and then nothing happens because I'm discovering things that I was meant to do and didn't because I forgot. Now I'm getting rid of this. It's actually beautiful, I love it, but it doesn't fit me anymore. I bought this when I was still breastfeeding and now it doesn't fit. I swear my boobs have changed my body. This I do love is actually not that old, but it just looks cheap and tacky on me. I'm gonna sell it. Ruthless, ruthless. Oof. By the way, less crushed. Feels good. My handbags. There is nothing I'm getting rid of there. I love my handbags. I love them so much. All right, shoes. All right. These were a gift. They're beautiful. They're a great height, but I can't walk in them. These are really old, I'm getting rid of. They have had their day. But there might be someone out there who really loves these and can bring them back to life again. I'm gonna sell them. Lily, I have a Nike Air Max 90 addiction. The scary thing is I actually did a decluttering challenge not that long ago. And I'm still finding things. I feel like I've hit like a wall and I'm done. I feel complete. I feel like this is as far as I can possibly go to declutter. And yes, there may be more, I accept that, but I feel like I have been honest, responsible, and ruthful enough for this particular challenge. All these things I am going to release to the second hand economy. Time to get excited and time now to put, maybe do the same challenge with a clock and put them all on Depop or eBay or Facebook Marketplace. This has been refreshing. I feel way more organized in my wardrobe. 
This is confronting looking at this pile of items, particularly when I try and tell myself that I am quite, uh, I guess, I incorporate a minimalistic philosophy in my life. This indicates that's not the truth necessarily. However, doing this has been incredibly powerful. Not only has it forced me to really see where I'm going wrong, and hopefully now going forward, I can make better decisions in the way that I consume. I also have a greater sense as to what my true authentic capsule wardrobe style is. The color palette, the simplicity of the cuts and the fabrics, how I like things that are natural fibers rather than things that get, make you get really hot and are man-made fibers and also can look really tacky and tatty very, very quickly. Also, it's forced me to make sure that my wardrobe is actually a lot more organized. Folding things and putting them back in a neat, tidy, organized way has been refreshing. And it also has made me feel a lot more lighter, organized and kind of responsible. <sighs> All right, let me know, big question. Should I declutter Tom's wardrobe? Should I? He's really messy and he's a massive, massive weird ass hoarder. Let me know what you think. You could end up breaking up with me or he could end up proposing to me. This could go either way. Oh, and by the way, I still have about 20 minutes left on my timer. And now that I know how effective this is, I will be doing the same clock treatment or clock game for when I need to list all of these things, which will be this week, because there's no point making that pile if nothing's gonna happen to it. I need to bank that money quickly.